Hi goodies, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new. My name is Amani and I'm going to show you how I took my long sister locks and made a fake bob doing lock twists. Lock twists are really, really simple. They're primarily used as a styling technique for people who have traditional locks. I don't like to use the saying dreadlocks. And they do that after they palm roll, which is retwisting their hair to keep the retwist in until it settles. So, we don't have to do that if you have micro locks, interlocks, kinky locks, sister locks, all the types of interlocks. But I think it's great because you can use this hairstyle to make a faux bob and not take scissors to your hair like I've been kind of wanting to do lately, as well as having a two-in-one hairstyle because once you take out the twists, you have a beautiful, voluminous twist out. So. Okay, so the first thing you need to do, in my opinion, is moisturize your hair before you do a style like lock knots if you're going to leave them in for a long time and what i do is after i start on freshly washed hair i go ahead and seal in the moisture with oil your oil of choice today i'm using palmer's olive oil formula it's like a spray it has black castor oil in it as well to seal in moisture because what oil is a what not a moisturizer it's a what Sealant, thank you. Oh yeah, we're gonna just spray that through. Use your oil of choice, but normally I do this throughout the lengths of my hair. And then my scalp oil of choice for today is my mixture of wild growth oil and dew grow oil. And I just put that on my scalps. Now for the sectioning, all you wanna do is split your hair into two halves and then work on one section. And then the best way I can describe setting your twists is if you're doing this specifically for a twist out, keep in mind that the larger your sections for the twist, the looser the curls and the tighter the sections and smaller the sections, the tighter the curls. So to begin the lock knot twist, you twist your hair all the way down to the ends. And if you feel like you're one of those people where your twists come unraveled, you're not doing it tight enough. So it should look like a cord. You can barely see the twist on the actual shaft of the twist, but it'll loosen up and wrap itself around the ends like so, and then loosen up through the entirety of the twist. So to get the lock knot twist part, you wrap the base of your twist around your finger to leave a little loop at the desired length or height of where you want your hair to stop when fully locked at the bottom. And you'll see what I mean with the knot. Then you pull the end of the twist through that little loop and then you slide the part that you wrapped around the twist down and then that'll secure the end of your hair, which is why you don't need hair ties. So here it is a little slower. You wrap it around a little loose. You pull the end of the twist through that loop like so, and then slide down that little barrel of twists, and then that'll secure and create the little lock knot. And you're going to fold the twist a little bit higher than your desired length for the lock knots and then you're going to go ahead and continue to just do that throughout the entirety of your hair in whatever grid you'd like and I if you can see those little beads in the corner they're from flourishing 101 I'll link them below and these are the carnelian beads I love them the holes are pretty big so I feel like traditional locks or larger locks can definitely fit through these beads and you just thread them through like you would a needle and thread and then slide the bead up and then do your lock knot so it's not wrapping around it and then you just secure like so ah look it's like half the length yeah this is what i want to cut it to i won't though because y'all would me and this is the finished look i actually really really like it i could wear it to the side like this the other side i think i like this side better actually i feel like it suits my face <laughs> If you like this video, please comment down below whatever else you'd like me to make videos on. Give it a thumbs up and subscribe. It helps a lot. As always, have a fantastic rest of your day wherever you are in the world, please. Bye.